Hello and welcome to Mead Week. I'm Brian Spann. On this edition, football's back. IndyCar racing coming to Fort Mead. Another Facebook town hall meeting is coming up. These stories and more, but first, September is Suicide Prevention Month. The DOD is planning a host of events to highlight suicide prevention awareness. Locally, Fort Mead offers a monthly two-day applied suicide intervention skills training program or assist. First connect with somebody in an intervention. Where are they at? They're focused on the past. They're looking at, at what has happened and what's brought them to this point, right? Each of these students, although representing Fort Meade's multi-service community, all have one thing in common, a desire to know more about this problem and what they can do to perhaps save a life. The biggest goal of ASSIST and our aim is to, uh, our hope also, is that participants leave the workshop feeling better uh, prepared, uh, more ready, willing, and able to intervene, somebody's having thoughts of suicide. To to and so that's really our, our main focus during the workshop. And um, uh, feedback has, has shown that ASSIST is successful in that area. Uh, we've had phenomenal feedback. Um, of 500 people that have gone through the training that I've been a part of, uh, every single person, even those that haven't uh, initially attended the training, are happy to be there, the voluntolds I like to refer to, they even uh, give us great feedback and say, you know, I do feel uh, ready, willing, and able to intervene with a, a person at risk of suicide. Chief Dag adds that the crux of the training is learning how and when to intervene. We teach participants how to be suicide uh, lifeguards, so to speak, first aid caregivers. Um, the model uh, is, is like a map that guides them through an intervention. Once again, the ASSIST training is offered through Army Community Services every month. Contact the ACS Substance Abuse Program Manager for more information. Meanwhile, the Sergeant Major of the Army, Raymond Chandler, released this appeal ahead of Suicide Prevention Month. This message is for you, our leaders, officer, NCO, and civilian. You can make a difference. The Army remains committed to taking aggressive and appropriate actions to educate and equip soldiers and leaders with the right complement of programs and resources to serve the health promotion risk reduction, and suicide prevention needs of the Army family. Anyone and everyone can make a difference, but change starts with leadership and knowing your resources. Make this Suicide Awareness Guide for Leaders a part of your toolkit. Implement, promote, and use it. Remember, shoulder to shoulder, we can all remain Army strong. In other news, the next monthly prayer breakfast is coming up Thursday, September 6th at 7 o'clock at Club Mead. This month's guest speaker is Captain Jeffrey Martin, the 310th Military Intelligence Group Chaplain. As always, the entire community is invited. There's no cost for the buffet, but donations are welcome. Contact the Garrison Chapel at 301-677-6703 for more information. Meanwhile, on Wednesday, August 29th, Panther Racing and IndyCar star J.R. Hildebrand makes a return visit to Fort Meade. Here's a quick look from last year's event. You have a lousy day, you have a lousy practice you know, a lousy weekend, you know, sometimes you have a, a tough year and it's that ability to come back and bounce back from that and rebound that really allows us to make that next step forward and uh, that's what you guys do just day to day in your daily lives uh, with sacrifice you and your family. Anything else? This year you can meet JR, get an autograph and a t-shirt, plus you'll be able to check out the IndyCar. It all takes place Wednesday at the Freedom Inn Dining Facility from 11 to 1.15. Additionally, the dining facility is offering a free hot dog lunch for the first 500 to show up. Once again, the USO and Panther Racing are teaming up to bring IndyCar racer J.R. Hildebrand to Fort Meade. That's Wednesday the 29th at 11 o'clock at the Fort Meade Dining Facility. I have another invitation, this time from Fort Meade Garrison Commander Colonel Ed Rothstein. On Thursday, September 6th, Colonel Rothstein and the Garrison Public Affairs Office are hosting a third Facebook town hall meeting. It's your opportunity to chat with the Garrison Commander and post your questions, comments, and concerns. That's the Fort Meade Facebook Town Hall, September 6th from 4.30 to 6 p.m. News from MWR, football's back, and Club Meade is hosting a kickoff event for the NFL's first game between the New York Giants and the Dallas Cowboys on September 5th. The Brass Station Lounge will open at 5, with the game starting at 8.30. For more information, call Club Meade at 301-677-6969. While the big boys are suiting up, the future pros are kicking things off this weekend as well. So if you're viewing Mead Week before the 25th, then you still have time to come out and support Fort Meade's youth football program. The Cougars have a full slate of preseason games on Saturday, starting at 9 o'clock and ending at 5.15. Until then, I'm Brian Spann. For everyone at Mead TV and the Fort Meade Public Affairs Office, have a great weekend and a great Mead Week.